hope you are enjoying your weekend your Saturday I remember those days when, when I live in Nigeria every Saturday is for, for me to wash you will clean you will wash you will do stuff in the house and get ready for Sunday get ready for for Monday to school so how's your weekend going how's your day going are you spending it wisely are you spending it to do clean up are you spending it to do over and bear like some people we know in Nigeria you'll be spending your entire day doing o and bear what are you spending your day doing type in the comment section I want to be able to um hear what you're doing today so i'm gonna share with a few of my friends who i want to join me so if you're gonna be joining me live say hi and tell me where you're watching from i want to know who and who's joining me if you're also catching the replay kindly say hi say your name and tell me where you're watching from so i'm just trying to share to a few of my friends so that they can come live and cheer me up so this is a series i started three days ago today is the third day actually the series i started three days ago and i am talking about this series is actually to get me accountable to make me help me stay consistently showing up on social media doing live videos and also to be accountable for myself thank you for joining i see you thank you for joining uh amaka what did you go thank you for joining i see you um, so it's for it's to help me stay consistent. It's to help me say, uh, do what I say I will do, and not just do say them, but actually do them because it's very very important for me to say something and do it. If I'm saying something and I'm not doing it, it doesn't make sense. So I'm putting myself out there and being accountable for what I say I will do. So today, again, the series is all about A to Z of network marketing thank you for joining miss amaka from podakot i see you on instagram thank you for joining and if you're joining on facebook because i'm live on facebook and i'm also live on instagram if you're joining us facebook say hi and tell me where you're watching from so i've been talking about a to z of network marketing for the past three days and i've done letter a i've let i've done letter b and today i am doing letters letter c and if you have not watched catch on the letter a and catch on the letter b kindly go back I can watch two of the videos i'm sure you get value from the video so today's letter c and i am talking about consistent so if you know um if you want to type below in the comment section type consistent consistent is what i'm talking about today thank you for say for liking for for clicking on the like button thank you so the let my letter c is for consistent and this is not just for network marketers it's not just for the network marketing industry it's for everything because in life if you're not consistent you're not going to get a result in anything you do so it's mostly for everybody hi i'm watching from nigeria i see you comfort my my meena thank you for joining comfort i'm glad and how is the weather like in your area? I am making this video from the United Arab Emirates Ajman and it's very cold. It's very, very cold. It's very, very cold. So, so today is letter C and we're talking about consistent. And if you are watching me, you will know that it's not really easy for anything, any human in this life. It's not really easy to stay consistent if you want to achieve anything in life. It's not easy. One of the biggest, biggest, most difficult thing in life is staying, con you know, going towards consistent, being consistent, and remaining consistent. It's really difficult. For example, if you want to lose weight, it's not easy for you to avoid. Like now, I'm eating salad. It's not easy for me to eat. I love salad, but you know, after eating salad, I want to eat something else aside from eating just salad. So, if you want to lose weight, it's not easy to stay consistently doing what you need to do like exercising every morning eating stay away from carbohydrates stay away from things that are just fatty fat it's not easy consistent is one of the most difficult things in life for anybody who's yearning to get results in whatever you do so, and this is not just about network marketing it's about life it cuts across every sphere of life you want to you are a doctor you want to be a professional doctor and you're going to school if you don't study for the amount of time you need to study you cannot be a doctor you are a business owner you have a shop i am not getting lots of customer if you don't stick with what you your shop every day you don't come opening your shop every day there's no way you will you 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 give yourself the time and give your area your location the time to to know you 
and get used to you to be able to come to you and buy what you sell every day. You are a hairdresser and you have a shop and people don't recognize you yet. And because people are not coming to make their hair in your shop, you just close your shop and just stop doing your whatever you're doing. You're not gonna I mean get results. The purpose of you opening your shop to make sale, you're not gonna get it. For example, I wanna lose weight. Not that I want to lose weight, but I want to lose my tummy because I have a heavy heavy tummy fat and i want to lose weight and every day i have a goal to at least sit or walk with leslie every day on youtube doing her hair aerobics doing whatever i'm doing with her she's marching she's jumping and moving i'm doing all that with her but guess what if i stop today and i stop doing it would i be able to achieve my goal no because i stopped doing it one of the things you get from not being consistent is you don't achieve your goal if you're watching right see that one of the things that you you get from not being consistent is that you don't achieve there's no way you can achieve your goal if you have set a goal for yourself to be able to sell maybe hundred thousand a month if you're somebody who sells things you know maybe my my business in now marketing i have to sell i have a goal to sell and i set a goal for myself to sell maybe 100k a month and then what, what are the things I need to do to, to be able to um, sell 100k? I have to consistently show my catalog. I have to consistently put content of related to what I do every day out. And guess what? If I don't put out those content, if I don't show my catalog, if I don't show up what I need to do every day, every day, every day, it means that I'm not going to make a sale. And that ultimately means that I am not going to hit my goal of selling 100k a month. So being consistent is very, very, very important to your success. And that's why you see people who are successful. You hear the likes of uh, people who are in the top 10 billionaire ranks in, in the world today. The reason why they're there is because they're consistent. It's because they're consistent. There's no way a person's name will be there if they have not been seen they have not been seeing their pattern they have not been seeing how they're doing in you know, society what they're doing how they how big their result is there's no way they put their name there the only reason why their name is there is because they've been consistent for a particular period of time results in anything you do in network marketing as an entrepreneur as a business owner as a shop owner as somebody who whatever a student a, a lot whatever the result in anything you do is is as a result of you consistently sticking to doing one particular course for a particular amount of time there is no way that you want to get results and you do this particular thing today and tomorrow you are doing another thing and the next day you are doing the same thing you did the first day but the next day you don't repeat that same pattern you will not get results results come from sticking to a particular thing as a particular amount of time being consistent and remaining consistent and like i said in the beginning i said it's not easy to remain consistent one of the most difficult things in this life is remaining consistent. You can start by doing something and be consistently doing it, but remaining consistent, it takes a mind, a disciplined mind, somebody who is disciplined. If you're not disciplined, there's no way you can cultivate the habit of being consistent because it's one, of, it's, one it's a difficult part. It is, it's a difficult thing to do. It's very, very, very difficult. So my day three word is letter is for is letter C and it's all about consistent being consistent remain consistent if you're not consistent you're not going to get a result in whatever you do whatever you decide to do for example you are a net marketer you are into now you are in the now marketing industry and maybe because you have a friend outside there and the friend has been in the industry and you see that Oh, the, pers the person is all, is all of a sudden making money in the industry and that attracted you to be part of it because you saw the person is making millions, a few millions, a few bucks. The person is making millions and then you decide to jump into it, jump into it thinking that, oh, they, 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 there is magic in it. There is magic. She, she, you know, the person was lucky and you want to go into it and get lucky too, just like the person got into it and she was lucky. There's no luck in getting results. There's no luck in not marketing. The only luck and secret in network marketing in anything you do is you you are the only variable you are the only one that makes it happen if you if you go into it just because your friend went into it and just because you're and you don't get results and you disappear there's no way you can get results the only reason why people don't get results in anything they decide to do is because they are not consistent when you consistently do it 
do it, do it, remain, do it, and remain there. Keep doing it, keep showing up, keep showing up, keep showing up. You get results. I want to give you an illustration, illustration from the from the one of the leaders in Namak in one of the top leaders, not the top leader, is a leader. He's he writes books on leadership. His name is John Maxwell, and he there's a book he wrote uh, uh, on leadership, and there was, and there was an illustration, a story in that book that you have a tree and you want to cut down the tree, and every day you take your axe, you take your whatever you take. You go there, you cut the tree. Every day you go there, you hit it one, 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 like three times. You go there. You know, there are things that you must do to cut down the tree. You cannot just go to a tree, a big tree, and say you want to cut it down in just one cut. It's not possible. So he said, you will go there, you cut the tree. Every day you go there, you cut the tree, you cut it three times. You slap, you, you cut, you, you get the axe on the tree, three times. At the same time, the same, the same pattern, Three times every uh, three three cuts every day. Tomorrow you go there, you do the same thing. Next tomorrow you go there, the same thing. The third day you go there, you do the same thing. But you cannot cut down the tree if you're going there today and tomorrow you don't go there to cut it. But the more you spend time doing it every day, every day you go there three times, you cut it. Tomorrow you go there, do that, do it three times, you cut it. The next day you go there, there's no way the tree will not cut down because what you stay, what you consistently do every day would surely you know you will surely find result doing it you will surely find result doing it so that's why you see people coming into their marketing and go and falling out because they lack consistency they lack being they, they lack being consistent there's no way you want to as a business owner you want to get find results in one business you stop stumble into and not stick with it for a particular period of time what you do, spending spending your time and energy and you know passion to do on a part, at a at a particular period of time, you will always get results. If you're somebody who's always jumping, you do it, you don't find results, you jump out. You do it, you don't find results, you jump out. Can you imagine you have spent your time doing like almost one thousand things in just one year? How on earth do you expect to get results? Because result is only gotten when you spend time doing one course when you spend one time doing only a a, 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 a one thing There's, it's not wrong when you start to do different things but you must have stuck with one thing doing one thing for a particular amount of time before you begin to divert into doing the other thing because you cannot be master of all if you have not mastered one there's no way you can be master of everything at a, at one time without mastering one. You must have focus on one, spend your energy doing one, get results on one, and the results you get in one, you go and also go and use it to dominate the other things that you want to do. That's how you get results. In network marketing, a lot of persons think that it's, it's very, very good. It's, it's a good thing to do one network marketing, be, be a part of one network marketing company. No? Be a part of one of marketing company and still divert into another thing. There's no way you can get results. You cannot be in this company and be in this company and be in this company. You can't get results. You will keep getting peanuts, peanuts, peanuts. The only way you can get the big bottom part is when you stick with one thing for a particular amount of time and keep doing it to get results. So that is what consistency is all about. And so there are some benefits of being consistent. And some ben- uh, and some disadvantage of not being consistent. But let me start with the disadvantage of not being consistent. Now, my number one that I wrote here. There's a lot of this. There's a lot of disadvantages of not being consistent. Number one is lack of um, lack of results. You don't get results. There's no way you get results. Even if you get results, it cannot be large. It cannot be large. It cannot be that one that is so it, that makes noise. Your result that cannot be that one that makes noise that everybody will know that there's results in what you did. It cannot be loud. You, you you don't record any form of result. You have like peanuts. You'll be getting peanuts from this one, getting peanuts on and at the end of the day, it's not big enough to help you to you know achieve your dream lifestyle. It's not big enough to help you to achieve your dream lifestyle. So to remain con- to get results, you must stay consistently doing a course by time. When you have dominated that course, you have become a master of that course, then you can now divert to other courses and bring your expertise, expertise, professionalism into the other courses. The second one is that you are going to burn out. 
you're gonna have loads of burnouts you're gonna burn out you're gonna be exhausted you're gonna be overwhelmed there's no way you can be doing different things different things different things and jumping from here to here you jump you get tired you get frustrated you you burn out because you're not getting results you get tired sometimes you feel tired and discouraged in life because you're not getting results but that's not the reason why you're not getting results you're not getting results because you're not consistent you're not getting results because you're not consistent but if you focus put your energy in one put your time in one put your investment in one the passion in one trust me you get results doing that same course at that same time the third one is that you're not going to make impact people who are consistently doing something at a particular amount of time make impact their impact is so large that it changes the life of people around them because you are consistently doing it people are watching your family is watching your neighbors are watching your partners are watching your team is watching on social media that they see you how you're showing up you cannot be using for me i use social media to build my business so i cannot be somebody who's bringing one business to facebook today and tomorrow i bring another business they'll be like wow she doesn't even have she doesn't even know what she's doing she's not consistent how's she gonna get results so you not you can't make impact when you are not consistent it's not possible you cannot make impact when you are not consistent because nobody's gonna look up to you everybody's gonna be like wow she's always doing this always bringing new things always bring which one will you stick to which one will you stick to the third one is that you have no skills most of the people out there who are not consistent the reason why they are jumping from this to that is because they are not they don't they lack skills because for you to remain consistent, you must have skills. There must be skills. You must be able to do things. If your business entails selling, it means that you need to go and acquire acquire sales skills. If your business entails recruiting, it means that you have to go and acquire the recruitment skill. If your business entails follow-up, all these things are a bunch of skills that you have to acquire. The reason why you keep jumping from here to here is because you lack skills. Everything that you need to use to get results in your business is about skills and tools and systems. When you're able to put all these things together, trust me, results will come. Lack of skills means no result. Lack of system means no result. Lack of tools means no result. When you measure all those three things together, results, and you keep doing it, focus on doing it at a particular amount of time, consistently doing it, you will get results. So, people who are not consistent lack skills. Number four is, uh, you are not self-development. You are not self-developed. You don't read, you don't study. You don't read, you don't study. If you are not reading, there's no way you can be somebody of impact. There's no way you can be somebody of influence. There's no way you can deliver. There's no way you can be somebody that, you know, people are looking up to. There's no way you can be a leader who is leading people to get results, to grow. So you have to be somebody who's developing yourself every day always looking for things to help you to grow for you to grow you have to develop yourself you have to study you have to read you have to look for coaches to help you you have to look for teachers educators people to help you to get results in whatever you do if you lack everything you lack is in the book everything you lack is in, is out there in people in, in what people have created the results you want, some other persons have created it. They have either made videos to help you to, 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 to understand what you need to do to get results. There are roadmaps everywhere. There are roadmaps everywhere. Social media is filled with loads of edu uh, educational videos, set development videos, skill trainings to help you. YouTube, lots of people on YouTube putting out content every day to help you to have roadmaps to help you build your business. But the problem is that we are not focused, we are not interested, we just want quick cash, we want magic money, we want it easy. If you find it easy, trust me, it won't last. If you find it easy, just one month, you go out there and get results in just one month, it won't last so don't look for it don't expect it to be to be easy better for you to make sure that you are developed enough so that when they come all those obstacles come you have the skills to overcome them you have the skills you are developed enough to overcome them you have the confidence you have the tactics to help you to overcome them you have no followers nobody's gonna look up to you you have no confidence you lack confidence because for anybody who is jumping from here to here, you are living this, you are, you are, you, you're, gonna, you're not going to have confidence. 
You gain confidence by following people who are going to help you to grow. You gain confidence by reading books. You gain confidence by attending trainings to help you to understand the things you want. You gain confidence by having people who have been there and you're looking up to them because you get the confidence all of a sudden by know, knowing that because they have achieved it, you can also achieve it. And those, those things always help you to build your confidence in whatever you do. But when you lack consistency, when you are not consistent, you lack confidence in yourself, you will not have results, you have no followers who are looking up to you, you lack impact, you don't have self, you are not self, self developed. Because when you are self developed, you are, you would have read it somewhere that will tell you that if you don't stick on something for a particular amount of time, you are not going to get results. And then you would avoid jumping from here to here. The next one is that poverty. People who are not consistent are always people who don't have, they don't have money. They're always broke. Poverty is calling them. My network is really bad. It's trying to connect. Poverty is always calling them. You end up in poverty because when you don't stick with doing something that will give you results, what is there? What is the next thing? Failure. You're not going to get results. You fall into lack. You fall into nothing. You have no results to show for yourself. Okay. The next one is you lose the little you have. You know, a lot of persons dabble into things, look at the likes, the, the likes of Ponzi, you go into Ponzi, you have heard stories on social media, how people put money, their money, that their, their hard head money is Ponzi, and then they lose the money. You lose money when you keep jumping from here to here, and you refuse to stick on something that will help you to grow. You refuse to stick on something that will help you to remain, to, to get results, because the money is not coming fast, fast. But when you begin to dabble, 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 you will lose the little you have. And go back to square one. So you lack, uh, you'll be in poverty. The next one is that you lose the little you have. I mentioned that you can't be celebrated for your results. People who are consistent or are always celebrated for their wins, they're always celebrated for their results because they have results to show for it. Like I said, if I am somebody who want to lose weight, and the, one of the things I have to do to lose weight is by working out, doing exercises eating healthy, staying away from fatty food, staying away from carb uh, carbohydrate. But the moment I stop doing all those things, what is the result? Is that I will start gaining weight. I will not lose my weight. I will not get, I will not achieve my goal. Okay, I will not achieve my goal. And so when you are consistent, you're consistently doing what you're doing. You keep doing it. You keep doing it. You keep doing it. You get results, and results lead to people celebrating you. Results lead to reward. Results lead to award. It's not magic. It's the result of what you do. It's the result of being consistent. It's the result of showing up every day. It's the result of shape, taking action. Every little step of the way, you must make sure that you are showing up. When you do things, different things every day, every day you are doing it, every day, no matter how small it is, you are showing up doing it. Before you know it, you have grown, you are, now, you are now an expert in it, you are not a professional in it, you have, you have built momentum in it, you have become a person of influence, people are looking up to you because of the impact you are making, because of how you are showing up, because of how you are disciplined, so many things are attributed to it, if you want to, be, if you want to begin to record results. So, you can't be celebrated if, you, if you're not consistent. The next thing I want to share with you is benefits of being consistent. What are the benefits? There's so many benefits of being and remaining consistent. So many benefits. So many benefits. But I'll share a few, a few of them for you. Okay? I'll share a few of them with you. Number one is people look up to you and celebrate you for being a part of their success story. Can you imagine? I have a, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a network marketing professional, and I build, I build, I build my business alongside a few other women who is part of my team, and I'm the leader of the unstoppable CEO. We have our team on WhatsApp group, so I have a group of women who we work together, connect with together, and sometimes yeah, one, once in a while I get messages like, "Why well, I'm so, I'm, I, I, I appreciate you for who you are. I appreciate you for how you show up. I appreciate you for your leadership skill. I appreciate you for your coaching, your trainings. I appreciate you. I got this result because of how you're showing up. What, what the, the trainings you gave to me. These are things you get when you are being consistent and remain consistent." People celebrate you. People attach their success. They think, if not because of you, I will not get results. 
that's what you get for being consistent. The next one is you become a person of influence. You influence people to be changed, to be to have change in their lives. You influence people to make change in their lives. You influence people to be successful because of your results, because of how you show up, because of how you have changed, because of the lifestyle you have you are living. People begin people begin begin to want to look like you. They want to begin to look like you. They want to begin to live their life like you because of how you are showing up, because of how you are making a difference in society. That's for people who are consistent in whatever they do. You can see that I'm not just talking about net marketing alone. It's also cut across the everything in life. As a person, you know, in marriage, in relationship, in education, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, as a shop owner, as an educator, as a trainer, as a coach, it cuts across everything. So people will look up to you and want to be like you and want to show up like you just, to, just because you're showing up, just because you have been there and you're getting results. Okay? You become a person of influence. You influence people's life. You change people's life. You know, just because of you, they want to be who they want to be. They are able to see that, oh, I can be better in the society. They are able to see that I can be successful. They are able to see that, oh, I am, li- I am limiting myself to whatever I'm getting. I can be more than that because of how you're showing up. The next one is you become a successful person. Ultimately, when you stick with being consistent, you, can, you become successful. You become, you become a model who is celebrated in society. There's no way you can be so consistent in doing something for a particular amount of time and not get results. It might take a while, but you will definitely get results. You only don't get results when you are not consistent. Failure only comes when you are not consistent. The result of being consistent is success. Trust me. The next one is you will be you will um you will build several stream of income yes this is my best part of it you will build several several stream of income because there's no way when you get result in doing what you're doing you begin to build other streams as you're getting results you begin to put investments here and there to help you to grow as you're getting result in this business you're resu- you're getting money. You're getting in- you're getting resources. You can you now begin to use it to build other streams, other investments. Before you know it, you become one of the t- top um, celebrated celebrated people in the society. The next one is um, people attribute. I've mentioned that people attribute their success to you. I've mentioned that. The next one is you raise people like you. You raise people like you. As a leader, you begin to raise people like you. The next one is you give value. As I'm giving value right now, I give value. You have to be somebody of value to be consistent. You have to be somebody who gives value because um, in now marketing, I was taught that I, I, I struggle a lot when it comes to creating content on social media. I struggle a lot when it comes to showing up on social media. I might be on social media, but I'm not posting anything sometimes. But the, re- the secret to be, to be able to create content on social media is when you invest learn and teach ilt when you set develop when you read when you study a lot that's one of the secrets if you want for me to be able to create this content is because i have been reading it's because i have been watching videos not today of course not i didn't watch anything to create this content but you must be somebody who have been you know studying self develop training attending trainings attending um meetings you know watching people who have been doing the same thing that you want to do you begin to come to social media, come to whatever you want, come to your group and dish out those content and give out those value free of charge. And before you know it, you become an authority in that niche. You become an influencer in that niche. My daughter was asking me today, Mommy, um, if you become an influencer, you have to be putting pi- you have to be going to um, sites, beautiful places and take pictures. I'm like, if you're an influencer, you, you, you don't, I don't want to be an influencer that is just about taking pictures and putting on social media and post. I want to be an influencer who is about impact, who want to help people, who want to give value, who want to educate people, who want to share knowledge, who want to give value. Not just about putting pictures out there, showing places where I go, showing beautiful places, going to beaches. And, no, I'm not, I'm not, 
on I, I'm not interested in that kind of being a, a influencer inf, a, being a, being that kind of an influencer you know the next one is that you're going to have a legacy you're going to leave a legacy can you imagine when you have become successful you have changed the lives of people you know you're giving you're making impact you're giving value your result is being celebrated people will hear your story around the world and even when you die your legacy is still living on is lingering on that's because you are so, you are consistent in whatever you do if you're not consistent you cannot be somebody who will leave legacy for people who are not yet born to be able to learn from lots of people who are consistently build themselves like jim Rowe, um um who do, who this, the people books if you read, more, most of the books i read there are people who have died and if they are not consistent there's no way i can discover their books there's no way i can discover their videos on youtube there's no way i can discover their podcast but because they are consistently doing the same thing for a particular amount of time i'm able to discover their their legacy the books they've written the view the, the youtube videos they've made the facebook they have content they have created you know the podcast they have created that's the result of being consistent so that's it about consistency being consistent today for me my letter c that's it about me it for me if you if you have any thoughts on what i've been what i've been sharing so far if you've gotten value from what i've been sharing so far if you have any thoughts about it if you want to share something i want to read from you type it in the comment section and i will come back to this video and read your thoughts when it comes to being consistent and if you know anybody who's going to like what I've shared, if you know anybody who's going to enjoy watching this video, kindly share with them. I will tag them in the comment section. Uh, I would love to see that. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you watch, if you catch on the replay, if you watch on the replay, please tell me where you're watching from and the location, your name and your location. I would love to connect with you after the video. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Tomorrow, I'm going to be coming with letter D on A to Z of now market i'm gonna be coming with letter d and letter d if you're not here tomorrow you cannot know what my letter d is but i'm sure it's going to be something of value thank you for watching god bless you i'm signing out bye